What is going on everyone? Will Try here and today I'll show you guys how to squeeze a little bit more quality out of your Live Gamer HD capture card by Abermedia. Before I get into the tutorial part of this video, I want to go through the specifications of the Live Gamer HD. Now looking at the specifications of the Live Gamer HD, if we go down and have a look at the onboard encoder section, you can see that the Live Gamer HD maxes out at 20 megabits per second for the bitrate. Now the bitrate for the Live Gamer HD is not that bad. Now it beats the HD PVR by 6.5 megabits, which is rather substantial when it comes to quality. Unlike the HD PVR, however, the Avermedia Live Gamer HD is much more capable of pumping out higher bit rates than 20 megabits per second. What I find odd is that Avermedia capped the Live Gamer HD at 20 megabits per second in the Rec Central software. Now I don't understand this because it's much more capable of pushing out more quality. So today I'm going to show you guys how to increase the bitrate cap that Avermedia has placed on the Rec Central app. Before I begin with the tutorial, I just wanted to add that there might be a slight risk of you damaging your Avermedia Live Gamer HD capture card. Now I'm saying this because I haven't tested it thoroughly and I just want to make sure you guys are being careful while doing this. With this said, I highly, highly recommend that you follow my each and every step very carefully to make sure that you don't damage your capture card and don't exceed the bitrate that I show you in this video. Just remember, I'm not responsible for any damage that may occur to your capture card while doing this modification. Now with the disclaimer out of the way, let's begin the tutorial. Alright, so the very first step that we want to take is we want to open up the Rec Central app and I'm going to do so by hitting my red hot button on my desktop and we get to see the startup animation there. So once we're in the Rec Central software, we want to open the capture module and what we're going to do now is we're going to create a new profile and we're going to do this by going to the Pro tab. Now, you want to pay close attention to my video settings. Now, the video format must be TS. If you have MP4 selected, change it. With MP4 on the Avermedia Live Gamer HD, it seems to desync the audio over time, so keep that in mind. Make sure you select TS, that's very important. For the resolution, you can select whatever the resolution you feel comfortable with, and the video bitrate, we can just leave it at 20,000 kilobits or 20 megabytes per second, and the audio bitrate must be at 192 or else the audio again will be desynced from the video over time. Now the FPS, you can feel free to choose whatever you like since I'm using 1080p, the Avermedia Live Gamer HD caps out at 30 frames per second. So now with all the video settings set and we're good to go, make sure you go to save as and name the profile whatever you like. Personally, I'm just going to name it temp2 for temporary 2 as my profile. Now once we've made our profile, we're going to close down Rec Central and make sure Rec Central is closed down. You can check by going into the system tray here and if it's not here, we're good to go. So for the next step, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the run command prompt and what we're going to do is we're going to hit the Windows key and the R key at the same time. This is the shortcut for run. Now if you don't feel like using the shortcut, you can go into the start menu, go to all programs, go to Windows system and then click run from here. So what we're going to type in the box is percentage app data percentage and once you've typed that in the box click OK and it will bring us with another window. Now what we want to do is we want to click app data at the top here and we will now be redirected to three file folders. Now the file folder that we want to select is local. Now once we're in the local file folder what we want to do is we want to find the rec central file folder. Once you've found the rec central file folder go ahead and open it and now you'll see a bunch of XML files. Now what we want to do is we want to open the profile XML file. Now you can open it with any word editor you please, WordPad, Word 2010 or Notepad. I prefer Notepad because it's easy. If you don't know how to open it with Notepad, go to properties, go to change and then select Notepad from the list of programs and then click apply and now you should be able to open the XML file with Notepad. So we're going to open it up and I'm going to full screen it here. So this may look intimidating to some because it is a bunch of code. Now, it's pretty easy to navigate your way through this code. Now, the only thing we're going to look for is the bitrate in here. So, what you want to do is you want to find the profile that you decided to make in the earlier half of this tutorial. So, right here it says profile name temp2 and that is the one I created for this tutorial. And as you can see, it, under the recording setting, it's got our format, our stream format, our resolution, our stream resolution, and our bitrate, and so on. What we're going to change is the bitrate. Now, 
For the bitrate maximum, I would suggest 60,000 kilobits. I wouldn't go any higher than that. For some reason, if you go higher than that, it uh, the quality actually gets worse. So I recommend just removing the two and putting a six and make it 60,000 instead of 20,000. Now, I forgot to do something before. I opened it up the notepad document and what we want to do, and I'm just gonna undo this setting here. Oh, I've already done it, okay, so we're good. So the next step is we want to save that profile XML. So just go ahead and click save in notepad. And the next step that we want to take is you want to right click on the profile XML file, go to properties and where it says attributes, select read only and click apply. Now we're doing this because Rec Central automatically overwrites the XML file every time we open up Rec Central. So if we make the attribute read only, Rec Central cannot overwrite the file and it'll always keep our overclocked bitrate in a sense. So the mod is now complete. Now what we can do is we can open up Rec Central and we should now be able to record in higher bit rates. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you guys really liked it, don't forget to leave a like. If you guys really, really like me, don't forget to click the subscribe button and become part of the Shire. Remember guys, if it's easy to follow, it's easy to learn, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial.